Hello, I'd like to um, demonstrate a very simple DIY airlift gravel filter used for cleaning gravel uh, in an aquarium. Um, the system um, is very simple. Um, it involves a um, container uh, with a plastic tube passing through it um, and at the end of the tube um, there is a hole in which a, another plastic tube is connected to an air pump um, and in this way a stream of bubbles is encouraged to um, flow up the tube uh, which causes a current of water to suck up uh, any um, debris or waste um, within the gravel. So air bubbles will come in at the bottom of the tube, travel up the tube within the um, tank and this will draw water up the tube um, and into the plastic container which is an old um, food container from um, croutons which are long gone and eaten. Um, the uh, bottom of the container will contain some filter floss um, and I find that just putting in three bundles of um, floss and prodding them down from the top um, is sufficient um, and within the um, cap um, there's a, an additional um, sponge uh, which provides uh, filtration. Um, at the top of the container there is a hole which will allow um, air to escape and is also useful for um, access for a, a twig or stick um, for prodding down the filter floss. Uh, taking the um, container apart, uh, you will see that there is a um, plastic tube uh, which has been uh, passed through the lid of the container. Um, the way to uh, form a hole um, is with a, a, an awl which is heated up, uh, which will then uh, melt through the plastic. Um, the hole is made progressively larger until the size of the tube um, is reached and then the tube is just simply passed through. Um, on the inside of the um, lid I will um, insert a uh, sponge which is cut around the um, tube and this acts as a filter medium and in addition there are some holes in the lid which will allow water pa to pass through. Um, I prepared a um, sketch of the design um, you can see the container and the plastic tube passing through and the dimensions that I've used are also shown. I'd now like to demonstrate um, using the uh, gravel filter. I've um, connected the pump to the power supply and air bubbles are now passing up the tube uh, which I will now lower down to the gravel level. And as I do so, water is entering the container. And you should be able to see the dirt from the gravel um, being sucked up the tube. Uh, and into the container. Just prodding the gravel um, allows the disturbs the, the waste and the dirt and um, it then gets sucked up. After a short period of time uh, you'll notice um, the um, container is becoming filled with uh, debris uh, which will settle into the uh, filter medium um, and any water will then pass out through the bottom of the uh, container via the lid um, and not uh, recontaminate the um, tank. Showing a close-up of the filter in action. following it up to the container 
which after just a minute or so is now full of debris and after about 10 minutes um, the filter medium will become uh, full of uh, debris which can then be um, just washed off under a tap. Uh, the filter has now been running for just um, um, a couple of minutes and uh, already there is um, large amounts of waste um, within the container um, settling into the filter medium. Um, uh, in terms of uh, cost, uh, the largest expense is probably the um, clear plastic tube. I would recommend a clear plastic tube as you get a better view of um, the dirt entering and have more control uh, as to where the uh, problem areas are. Um, the plastic container obviously is uh, free, uh, the tubing is probably about 50 pence and the pump is 5 or 6 pound. Um, the overall cost uh, is therefore likely to be around eight, um, about £12, pound, uh, which is not expensive. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video, and um, this will encourage you to make a very simple gravel cleaner of your own. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with your project if you go ahead with it.